Hey guys, what's going on? Dara Addison at torpedopot.com. Dara Addison, torpedopot.com. <clears throat> and it's cold out. But anytime you to get a good kickoff to a good spring, you, you're going to have growth. It can happen at any time. When your plants start to release themselves, then the new growth comes in and an old growth you have to take out. The question is that this was my camel mill. We use it for tea. Um, the flowers are edible, the buds are edible, the leaves are edible. And you can use them for so many different purposes. Uh, for us, we love to make tea out of it. And um, we are going to use the, uh, the leaves that uh, we weren't able to consume, use them in some of the potting that we have around the house to create fragrances that will exist for quite a while. Um, this chamomile, when you rub it in your hands and pull it out, it creates a flavor, a, a distinct aroma that is so unique to um, uh, materials that have been dried out and a little bit of the fragrance is left behind and you get to smell it. And it's just so, it's, it's good to smell, it's good to have. So what we're going to do, we're going to cut back all of the <coughs> old growth to also allow the new growth to come out. We don't want it to be too congested. So the first thing I do is I pull out the leaves and then I start to proceed around the base of the plant. I don't know exactly how many plants are in here. So we're just going to cut off the uh, top portion of it. We don't even care. It's going to be like a carpet going across the whole plant. And we'll just pull it off as we need it and twine together Now I can look at the plants, see where they are, individualize them, pick them out, get a feel for them. But more importantly, give them the room they need to grow. Most of the growth from your plant comes from the carbon in the air. And so you want to give it that availability and cut out as much dead as possible that you might see, as much as you can. But remember that every stem has the potential of growing back. So be careful you don't damage the plant. Um, we've had chamomile and planters for over two years that have been growing in a planter. And so once they get started um, and they have sufficient food in the planter, they'll just continue to grow, 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 grow. And you have it year after year after year, depending upon what climate, um, that you're in, what zones you're in, take a look at your zones, how you grow. Things grow differently in different regions, so take that in consideration also. Dow Radisson at torpedopot.com. This is a camel mill. I have one more planter to go that I need to cut back. Maybe I'll do that in another video with you, those who want to, to see it. But as you can see, once the green starts coming forth inside of the planter, then you know you're doing pretty good. You feel good about yourself. Pull out as much as this as you can. Just pull it out. It's no big deal. It's going to grow back like a huge carpet and it's going to hang over the panel like it did before. And that's what makes it all good. Just pull it out. Give it a little bit more air. I want it to be airy. You're not trying to really pull any plant out of the ground. You just want to get all the big parts out of it. That's all. And you should be good. Dow Addison, torpedopot.com. Dow Addison, torpedopot.com. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.